I'd like to start investigating the new energy and HVAC analysis processes in Revit. To do that, however, I'd like to check out what we need to do very first to help avoid tons of errors and frustrations. The objective of this video is to investigate a clean model, link it, and make sure it is room bounded. I know it's smaller than most projects we're going to work on, but the examples here need to be followed. So jump into Revit, let's go to open. I'm going to browse through and keep my exercise files. I'm going to open up this architectural model. Again, I know it's small and it's unlikely you're going to have a project this small. I just want to show you a couple components you need to know to be in the architectural model as an MEP engineer. Walls, roofs, and a floor. <laughs> it's pretty much that simple. Let's go to level one floor plan though. Along with the walls, the roofs, and the floors, we're going to want to have rooms. Rooms are important because they're going to carry over our volumes. Also, they're going to carry over our room names. Doors don't really matter so much. But the thing is, this has to be a tight enclosed model. So for example, we need to have floors. We need to have a ceiling. So if we go to our ceiling level, level one, that's going to bound that room. Now, in this case, this is only a one story building. So if we didn't have ceilings, the roof would be fine. It would enclose it. But we have actual wall systems. These come into play when we do an analysis or when we set our energy settings, we can set it either for a massing element that would be in the architectural model or actual building components. Okay, that being said, I'm gonna close out of this model and I'll go to models new. Browse to where you keep your templates. I'm gonna use my Imperial Systems template. You could use that too if you'd like. Let's click OK. Excellent. Now I'm in my level one. I'm not sure which plan. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to go to Insert, Link Revit. I'm going to link my architectural model. Whatever positioning you have is fine. I'm just going to go Internal Origin to Internal Origin. I haven't set the actual coordinates yet, but we will need to further down the road. So right now it's gonna be internal origin to internal origin. Click okay. Now that this is here, there's a couple of things we need to do. I'm gonna select that model. By virtue of habit, we're gonna pin it. That means we can't accidentally move it. It has no effect on what we're doing in this course, but that's okay, it's pinned. Now for edit type, Click Edit Type. In Edit Type, it has to be room bounding. This is the one mistake people make. They don't check this. And then when we specify our environment settings, Revit can't calculate anything because there's no bounding objects. Click Apply, click OK. Let's click Save. Save this somewhere that makes sense to you because we're going to keep opening it. All caps, I'm going to say M E P hyphen progress. You can call it anything you want. I'll go to my options. I'll have one backup. Again, that's just a preference. I'll click save. So now that this is set, we can confidently move forward. Make sure that you tell the architect, these are the minimum requirements needed for you to perform your energy analysis. 